welcome, welcome to Green Box Gaming. Uh, we are here today. We just want to do a quick intro uh, for anyone who's new to listening. Um, I'll start out. My name is Joe. I am the GM or the handler for our game. And just want to introduce the rest of us here. Uh, Brad. Brad say Hello. Hi. I am the player in Delta <laughs> Green. <laughs> this is Brad. He's one of our players. And then uh, Jean. Hello. I yes. too am a player. Yes. And and yes. lastly, Dace. Hi, Dace. Uh, so we are here just to do a quick intro uh, and thank you for joining us for our Delta Green Impossible Landscapes playthrough. Um, we're pretty new to the uh, tabletop RPG actual play kind of scene. And as such, quick disclaimer here, um, our audio quality starts off a little bit hit or miss um, just because we're kind of new to it, but we're kind of getting some new equipment now that kind of helps us sound a little better, a little clearer. And there are some network issues early on in some of the episodes, but I guarantee you that it does get better and the story is more than worth it. So that being said, here mm -hmm. real quick... Um, for those who are who have never heard of Delta Green, who don't know what Delta Green is, I figured we just kind of talk about that real quick. And those of you who are familiar with Delta Green and are not interested in what, what we think about it, uh, go ahead and skip to the next episode and get into the character creation and you know the first little bits of gameplay that we have in episode one. So or just skip uh, the podcast. If this is uh, not where you need to be, you just you know, move just on. Skip it. Just yeah, move we're on. not that important. Thanks for no. coming. Nice yeah, to see you. It's been fun, and we you really You could be learning also, right now. You could be bettering yeah. yourself. <laughs> also, we're full of shit. Yeah. That's some framing. There you go. Read a book. Shit. Read a book. <laughs> so thanks for all of those really encouraging words from this the rest going of the, the, way you of hope. the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is about how I thought this is going to go, and this is about <laughs> what it's like typically how throughout much? the We got the like the three minutes in? Was that three minutes? No. Yeah, not quite. <laughs> so, All right, uh, shut it down. Let's start it over. <laughs> so, what <laughs> is Delta Green? Um, I think that Delta Green, well, like when I, if I was going to explain Delta Green to someone who had never heard it, never experienced it, I would say that Delta Green is a RPG where you play members of a group that are kind of like a mix between um, Men in Black and the X Files. They are agents of this undercover conspiracy that is simultaneously seeking to eliminate or contain unnatural threats from the from the populace, but also trying to hide them because even having knowledge of them is dangerous. Um, what do you think about that? Let's go to Dace. Yeah. Um... So I was actually having to explain Delta Green to somebody the other day who is like a lifelong D&D &D player, like from the very early days, like talking Gygax days. Yeah. And uh, Call of Cthulhu was kind of on his radar. So I use that to relate it to him. Like it's the same sort of vibe. But the biggest difference I found is that Delta Green as the organization it's like when you see a movie and they say that the city that the movie was filmed in is almost as much of a character as the main actors. That's how mm. I see the organization of Delta Green. Yeah, that's, that's good. Yeah. yeah, that's my, nice. that's my, those are my thoughts. Thank yeah. you. Mm. <laughs> uh, what about you, uh, Jean? Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I think that's, that's pretty much it. The, the biggest thing that stands out for me, I'm, I'm kind of new to tabletop RPGs and done like one D, D campaign and then this and i think the thing that stands out for me is the focus on i guess more of the investigative side of things and uncovering what's happening but it's a bit of a double-edged sword because you kind of have to progress and uncover things to go forward with the story and to actually understand what's happening but if you uncover too much then it's really bad news as well so that kind of tension is just fantastic and i think that's pretty unique in my mind or Delta Green, but again, from a very inexperienced perspective. Right. I mean that it, it it is true. It's like you know, as opposed to just running into the the Goblin Fort and 
slashing everything to pieces and just going and destroying the lich's phylactery, you know, or whatever. Like, instead of going in and just fighting the bad thing, it's like even being around the bad thing is it's dangerous. Mm. So you got to be really careful. But and I mean, don't go and hitting things randomly. That's something we've learned early on. Don't go hitting in, things. In, in, in season yeah, two, uh, we determined <laughs> do that that, uh, that we're, we're recording this a, little, a good bit later on. In season two, we do learn that randomly hitting unknown objects not always the best call. Not a great idea. But man, was a good radio. Delta Green <laughs> encompasses like kind of all supernatural. I am, I still do have my fingers crossed that we will find a goblin horde at some point. And you never know. Yeah. <laughs> <So> <laughs> <great>. <laughs> That'd be great. Weird things you, have happened. To give you guys swords and shields and just have you fight a <laughs> goblin horde in Delta Green. God, how awesome would that be? A crossover? Oh, like medieval Delta Green? Okay, we gotta... <laughs> Alright, alright. That's our idea. Copyrighted. Yep, you can't <laughs> Medieval Delta Green. So basically yeah. Fallout, the game. Yeah. Well, well, and yeah. well, so Brad, what, like, what do you what do you have to add then about like how would you describe Delta Green to someone who never experienced it before, or maybe like what uh, Dace was saying, who has experience with something else? From a player standpoint, it seems to be like two elements are always involved in at least what we've played, and that's like a mystery to be solved. And I just forgot what my other one was. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Red hot oh, audio. Nice. Oh no, there's way more role playing than other mm -hmm. than like yep. D D and D. Like it's way less combat oriented. So there's way more role playing involved, and there's always like a mystery is the main focus, not right. necessarily. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess there is an objective, but it's more wrapped into like figuring right. out what's going on. Is the role playing just like us doing our flavor of it, or is it just in general the Delta Green demands more of it? I think I think that the game itself leans more okay. heavily into it because if you yeah. think about it, you could hype, you could theoretically play through like a D and D or Pathfinder game and just kind of lean into the mechanics of going in, knocking over bad guys and taking their loot. Um, and never like, saying a word. <laughs> God, it'd be a boring game, but I guess you could never say no word. <laughs> 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 just dice rolls but I suppose you could do the same thing in Delta Green and that doesn't mean that those games are bad like we love those games um, but I think that like I know in Delta but the, I think you're right the focus is on the combat a lot of times in those mm -hmm. games and like all of your spells and all of your you know all of your feats and your skills a lot of them are built around supporting violence just supporting the actual fight with those it's like a lot of some of the fun is just like, oh, what is this new power I'm going to get when I level up? There are no yeah. level ups, quote unquote, that I'm aware of. And any, any of the like perceived like level ups always come at some kind of cost. <laughs> Normally, <laughs> that's sanity. a good point. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I think it's you know, and when you're not fighting, you know, in Delta Green, combat is dangerous, mm -hmm. especially if either the unnatural or guns are involved because Delta yeah. Green is a modern day setting and like guns or the unnatural can kill people in a single strike much like in real life not well I guess I don't know about the unnatural in real life well uh, oh, absolutely we'll have to swing back around to that uh, it's out there <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but yes yeah, so like in Delta Green you know fighting is dangerous as and as you know anyone who goes forward and listens you're gonna hear in both season one and in season two there are um, there's some combat in there, and especially the one that comes up in season one, it comes up like, man, like this is really hard. But we, you know, as we're going through it, we actually talk about it, and it's like, no, this is how it should be because we are we're not demigods, we're not people who have you know three barbarian rages a day, and we're not you know we're not individuals <laughs> who have speak for yourself. Okay. Right, right. We just have three impotent rages a day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so it's, I think it really makes a big difference. And I think that's what you're talking about, Brad, that leaning mm -hmm. into the RP elements to develop. What does a character who doesn't have a tool in their toolbox for every situation, what do you do? And that's where the yeah. RP comes in. 
die in a lot of cases. <laughs> <laughs> in a lot of cases, you just I... die. Yeah. Right. yeah, the stakes are just so much higher than like traditional D and D. I think. Yeah. yeah. Death think is around ex- every corner. Well, I think the expectation, especially in a long form game like what we're playing. So anyone, you know, again, if you're listening, you know, at this point, we'll tell you that. We're playing Impossible Landscapes, which is Delta Green's first full-blown campaign by Arc Dream Publishing. Um, it is massive. At the time of recording, we are more than 20 episodes in, and I doubt that we are... We, we're not to the halfway point yet. Uh, and so well, this is going to be a long-haul story, and I think the expectation is, especially in a long-form game like this, you're going to lose people because, you know, very similar to like Call of Cthulhu, the things you're encountering, the unnatural that you're encountering is all so dangerous and you just cannot fight it every day or every week and last. It's just, yeah, it's just, you know, it's like a soldier going into combat every week. Like something's going to get you eventually. If not that, then old age, judging by the looks like where we're going and also if you die in this game you get kicked from the podcast i think those were the rules yeah i think that's the rules well and, and not only do you get kicked from the podcast but i think if you want to come back i think the other members from the podcast uh get to like beat you up all together so like we all come together and right you know and just oh, really... just think to permadeath yeah, so like we get you as close to permadeath in real life as possible, and then you're this allowed pod- back on the podcast. This podcast is blood in, blood out, baby. <laughs> okay, no that disclaimer. Mess- this is this is not blood sport. No, <laughs> not yet. That's uh, that might we be a fun. Patreon tier eventually. Is the blood sport tier? See, <laughs> blood to the death. The <laughs> blood sport. Up. Goblin horde. <laughs> Yeah. If there's a market uh, for that, let us know, I guess. Uh, yeah, hey, hit us up on Reddit, and I guess. To be clear, we are very <laughs> desperate. It's only a $20 tier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We will show you our blood for 20 bucks. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, well, you know, I think we... I, <laughs> yeah, it took a dark turn. Well, well listen, I, I think that we, uh, I think that we kind of covered what we're doing here. And listen, uh, go forward, listen to the podcast... The story is super strong, and we have enjoyed every second of it. Something I mentioned a little later on is that if we, even if we never recorded this, even if we recorded it and no one ever watched it, we're going to play this campaign because we want to play this campaign, and we're having an incredible time with it. So, and I just Mm -hmm. hope that anyone listening, that you're along for the ride and that you enjoy it. Well, uh, thank you for joining us, and uh, we look forward to... Look forward to you coming along on our journey with us. Thanks, and uh, we'll see you in the first episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.